But Lord, please don't let my hair turn out ugly because I do not want to look like homie clown. In Jesus name, amen. Okay, y'all, so I'm just going in with these three high color um, colors. I'm doing two copper reds and one intense red. And I'm also going in with my L'Oreal 40 developer. As you can see right now, I'm just mixing the colors. And then I added a lot more developer than I had color because I have a lot of hair and Sally's was closed and I did not want to run out of product. So I know developer lives. So even if I didn't have equal parts I just went ahead and added more so the instructions say to do this on dry unwashed hair I'm doing this on damp washed hair because my hair was in a slick back ponytail and I could not put it in four sections without washing it so do as I say I guess and not as I do but it's your hair so um, right now I'm putting it in four sections and I'm just taking my hands with my gloves it was easier to me to do with my hands instead of a brush or a comb and just go in and just rake through my hair and as you can see I'm not touching my roots yet I'm gonna do my roots last because the heat from your scalp um, will make your roots lighter. So it's always best in my opinion to do that last. So I'm just going in with the four sections and I have a little shampoo, the tangling brush, and I'm just raking the product through my hair. Um, thank y'all for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so now that I have done all four sections, I'm gonna go back um, and do the same thing I did, but make sure I get my roots and add more product to my, um, to my hair shaft because I figured if the roots if I run out of product you know dark roots are okay but I didn't run out so like I said it's, it's best to have more product than what you need so just go in and just make sure that you really um get every piece of hair saturated what I love about this product because mind you we're not using bleach um the developer makes like this very foamy um consistency so you don't have to worry about like how it's gonna lather it kind of reminds me of like when you put shampoo on your head like all your hair is pretty much gonna get color on it because it would suck if like you had pieces that were still dark um instead of being red so like i said just go back through after you've already put it on the first time and really get those roots and really saturate the hair this is when all the extra product i had I was able to just put a whole lot on my head because I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have to do this two times. I want it to be one and done. And you can take that brush and rake it through. So now that all the product is on my head from the roots to the ends, I'm just looking at it, making sure I didn't miss any spots. And now I'm going through and I'm getting that kitchen because I, when I lift up my hair for a ponytail, I want it to look like my hair is growing red out of my scalp. So I impulsively decided to dye my eyebrows, which I don't regret. I love that my hair matches my eyebrows. It, looks, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Um, so it, that's totally up to you if you want to dye your eyebrows. And then I let it process for one hour. It took me about 20 minutes to put the product on and then I let it sit for one hour. Now the instructions say let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. I didn't follow the instructions. So now what I'm doing is showing you guys how I looked after I washed the product out with a neutralizing shampoo. And then I went in and did a deep conditioning. Um, you'll notice some pieces of my hair are lighter than others because I actually have highlights. Um, I had highlights with my dark hair. I don't know if you guys could see it in the first clip because they're kind of grown out, but it added a little dimension to my color. So the pieces in the front that are really lighter from the highlights. And this is how it looks after I flat ironed it, uh, you know, blew it out and flat ironed it. I have a video on my channel on how I do my silk presses on myself. And y'all, I love this color. Like, I hate I didn't go red sooner. Like, this color just, in my opinion, it suits me so well. If you've been thinking about going red, just do it. Take this video as your sign to just do it. Like, I'm a love, I'm obsessed. I love this color. It gets a lot of compliments. It's perfect for fall. Um, let me guys know what you think in the comments. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.